The Snake River Canyon's most famous attributes are its bridge and the daredevils that leap from its lofty expanse. In the beginning, the Snake River cut through ancient basalt lava flows, forming Snake River Canyon that extends for more than 50 miles and features two major waterfalls and countless springs. The bridge that dared to span across the Snake River is the 1,500-foot-long Perrine Bridge, which rests 500 feet above the majestic river on the northern edge of Twin Falls. The bridge offers pedestrian walkways with views of the river, lakes, and waterfalls. The main span was constructed using the staid cantilever method. Individual pieces of the arch were lowered down from a high line and held in place by a series of cables that temporarily radiated out from the end of an already completed approach span on either side of the canyon. Once the two arch halves were joined in the middle, the cable stays were removed and the engineering feat was celebrated worldwide. The most distinctive trait of the Perrine Bridge is its status as the only bridge in the U.S. where base jumping is legal year-round without a permit. Most weekends, you can see jumpers leaping from the east side of the span. Known among base jumpers as the Potato Bridge, the 48-story drop has become legendary within the base community and several jumpers have made a permanent home in the Twin Falls area because of this. Despite the fact that high bridges are the safest of the four land-based objects base jumpers leap from, the bridge has claimed the lives of four jumpers since 2002. One of the most famous of the Snake River Canyon's daredevils was Evil Knievel, an American stunt performer, entertainer, and convicted criminal. Over the course of his career, he attempted more than 75 ramp-to-ramp -ramp motorcycle jumps, but none garnered more attention than his attempt at the Snake River Canyon. Knievel hired aerojet engineer Robert Truax to build the SkyCycle X-2, which flew more like a rocket than a motorcycle. The launch took place at the south rim of the Snake River Canyon, west of Shoshone Falls, on September 8, 1974. Knievel's drogue parachute prematurely deployed as the sky cycle left the launching rail, causing significant drag. Even though the craft made it all the way across the canyon to the north rim, the prevailing northwest winds caused it to drift back into the canyon. Knievel survived the failed jump with only minor physical injuries. He was extremely lucky. If only the canyon's ancient basalt walls could talk. Oh, the stories they could tell.